All right. In this video, uh, I'm gonna show how to uh, how to use an armature tester or a growler. Uh, this is uh, this is a this uh, growler I picked up oh last last uh, spring at a uh, swap meet. I forget what I paid for it, but I don't think it was very much. And I just got finished uh, restoring it. Typically, I don't restore things, as you know, but um, this was in really rough shape. Um, the wiring was shot on it, so I just decided to give it a, a coat of paint. This is, you know, the color scheme it had originally, the black over the gray. Uh, it is an Allen Electric and Equipment Company. And uh, it's, it's like I said, it's an armature tester. It's typically referred to as a growler. And its purpose is to, just like the name states, to test uh, armatures uh, in uh, electric motors and generators for um, shorts in the windings, for shorts to ground or to the shaft, and for, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, open circuits. Open circuits um, in, the, uh, in the winding. Um, this, is a, this is a nice model. Um, not all of them have, I mean, this is pretty pretty well capable. Not all of them have the features that this one does. Um, of course, it has the um, uh, V-block electromagnet here, which the armature sits in. It's got the uh, testing probes, which uh, you can test for uh, um, open circuits or shorts to ground. And it's got um, a, um, a voltmeter here, so you can uh, check each winding individually uh, to see if maybe there's excess resistance in one of them over another, or it's just a, another way to test if it's open or shorted. So that's a little handy feature. Um, like I said, I pretty much restored this thing. The only thing I, I didn't complete was um, the little test probes for the um, voltmeter test. Uh, Originally, that was like a, a Bakelite tube with two probes on the end of it, and uh, the Bakelite tube was shot. So until I uh, come up with a replacement for that, I just have these two little uh, two ends of the wires put together, make a little set of probes. So let me set a, an uh, armature on here, and we'll uh, go through the, uh, the tests test procedure. All right. This armature is for the um, uh, Imperial Electric uh, DC uh, generator that I made a video of a while ago, and that's going to be uh, belted up to the Bessemer engine as a display. It's a 3,000 watt DC generator, but that's not important. So I'm going to go through the uh, testing procedures on this. Um, first thing you can do is check for shorts to ground. So ground in this case would be the shaft or the core. So if you had bad insulation at any of these points in here or anywhere throughout the unit where it would go to ground, that's what you're testing. So basically it's just a continuity. When you touch these two probes together, the um, on this model the armature coil energizes, and you'll get the buzzing noise, and there's a little light bulb inside that lights up that you probably won't be able to see, so it just sounds like this. And you can, of course, see the armature jumping when it does that. So, easy way to test this is one probe to ground, and you just wipe over the commutator. It doesn't matter which, either or. So you wipe all the way around, of course you make sure that this is clean <laughs> before you do anything. At least make sure that there's nothing shorting the commutator bars together. And it's clean enough that you'll get a good connection. So you can wipe all the way around there. Make sure that's fine. And you can see like ground, like if it was one of the windings was shorted here, you'd get it. You can see that. But we're looking pretty good. No issues as far as grounding. 
Okay. So that's that. The second test I'll show you is the um, voltmeter test. I don't know really what you call it. But there's information now on these yeah, if you look up online. And what you do then is there's a, the toggle switch here. You energize the machine and then you go segment by segment. You do two. Let me show you. Get you a little bit closer. You don't skip any. What you do is test, 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 go all the way around. And you'll see once I uh, once I energize it, the meter will read a certain value, and there's a little rheostat on here uh, to calibrate for each uh, armature. You just the numbers really are just it's just a value assigned to the reading. So I have this set up for a good winding will read between four and six on the scale, and you read them, read them, read them, read them, and you'll get to the point where it'll read nothing. So at that point, you rotate the armature a little bit and you read some more. You just keep an eye on which ones you've read and which ones you haven't read. And you, you just go throughout the pace. If you got one that's not reading quite right, just rotate it a little bit and try it again. Because it's possible to get a false reading without, if you don't rotate the armature all the way and get each segment, each commutator, or each armature segment on the poles of the uh, armature, of the growler armature. So let me turn it on, and we'll find a good one here. I think that one's reading open right now, so let go. Oh, there you go. Uh, you probably can't see the uh, meter. I'll just go through and hit a couple of them. Maybe I should zoom out a little ways. You might be able to see the meter. That's about six. Next pair. Same. Next pair is the same. Good. Good. And you'll get to a point, like up at the top here, where it's reading nothing. Nothing. No, oh, there it goes. But nothing right next to it. So we'll shut down. Rotate it a little bit. Some you can actually some of these armatures you can rotate while the magnet's still on, but this one is so dense, it's got so much mass to it that I cannot rotate it while the magnet's uh, actually engaged. So I didn't mark which ones, uh, which segments were reading faulty, but probably one of these here. And you can find them. Go through it. See that one's reading, reading a little bit, a little weak there. When you rotate it, it'll probably read correct. I haven't gone through this whole thing, but um, it's also important that you don't read. Shut this off. You only read the segments that are right next to each other. Don't read one segment, then skip one and read the one after that. Only the two that are right next to each other, or else you'll throw your readings all completely off. And I forgot to mention, do not touch the uh, commutator while the magnet's engaged, because of course there's going to be a voltage induced in the windings, and you might get zapped. You can, might you might have heard it sparking as I was uh, doing that test. So I've already tested this armature, and that's that's fine. Go all the way around. Um, the last test I'm going to show you is the um, the shorts test, or uh, shorted windings, and you've probably heard this about about this before with the hacksaw blade, and you just go around it and look for shorts. And I'll, show, I'll explain that in a minute. So you energize the machine, go around it with your hacksaw blade. Shut it down. Rotate it. Like I said, this armature has already tested good, so I'm going to show you what, what it looks like when you have a shorted uh, winding. So that means that um, throughout the core, or in this area here, or even on the bars, there's a short circuit between one or the other. You don't have the, um, the correct 
the circuit path essentially and the correct resistance. So I'm going to show you that by shorting out uh, a couple of the bars with this little washer here. So I'll just hold this with my finger and I'll wipe over the armature and we'll see where uh, where exactly the uh, hacksaw blade vibrates. And of course I'll be holding the washer with uh, with a uh, hand with a glove on it because there's going to be some uh, voltage sitting there. So let's energize this. And you might be able to hear the tone change as soon as I make contact here. side of the armature and you can't see it. Let me shut that down and flip the armature around so you can actually see. <laughs> That's no good. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. Got my washer. Oop. Now it's going. use for it now with uh, you know I guess it's common uh, use was in the automotive industry where you had a uh, an actual DC generator to uh, maintain battery charge you know back in the earlier days and it would see some use in you know industrial service like in this in a big generator like this one but uh, most automotive shops would have had one and of course the testing can be done by other means with a, a meter and some other tools. But this was just a day, I guess, just a um, just a real handy way of doing it. It's real simple. Pop the armature out, set it on the machine, and energize it, and you can really you can get a quick uh, assessment of the piece. So I hope uh, hope this was informative. Like I said I uh, I uh, just kind of restored this thing and got it all cleaned up over the past couple days because I knew I wanted to start on this uh, generator project and you can see that the shaft is really in bad shape here I'm gonna have to turn this down and make new bearings for it and the commutator is a little bit uh, has some wear in it it's gonna need to be recut and all that stuff so uh, before I put too much money into it I wanted to check and see if there were any shorts in here or any issues electrically before I really started to get moving on this project so I could uh, either I could assess whether it was worth doing or if I was going to have to invest a lot more money into it or all that nonsense so uh, yeah this armature passed I'm happy and uh, hope uh, hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching <laughs>